Hey everybody, Thomas here and I'm working with my daughter and my son here shortly. This is an Ortur, O-R-T-U-R, uh, laser. We just cut the box open and everything, had to reshoot that real quick. Um, but yeah, this is the Ortur model number Laser Master 2. And they give you this little uh, scan code here for actually downloading and watching the uh, the videos and stuff like that and how to install everything. So let me, oh, we'll see. we're going to go through over some of the parts and things in here and then I'm going to do a time lapse that shows us putting this together. These are all your tools, pieces of parts, and they give you some uh, business card sized pieces of uh, wood as well to work with. This is your uh, laser. This looks to be uh, like your belt systems and some mounting plates, your safety glasses while dealing with lasers, very important that you watch that. This is a stepping motor, it actually has some mass to it, that's pretty heavy. Uh, this is your, I'm not sure which axis this is, I guess this is, uh, this is one of your axis uh, portion that holds the actual laser. Nope, this is your USB cable for hooking up to the computer. So you got your other cables here, which we'll go through all those. Your other extruded aluminum rails. Yep, that's some pretty good stuff. Yep. Put down right here. This is, looks like your uh, power cord. And this is a circuit board. This is actually where the power on off switch is and where everything goes through. So we've gone through the box. It looks like a maze now. It does look like a maze. So we'll put this down. Mm -hmm. So there's actually not a lot of pieces of parts. Uh, it, they do give you some tools and stuff. I think we're still going to need a few more after watching some other videos. I think we're going to need some pliers. Like needle nose pliers. Here's your little business card that you can do your test stuff with. They give you all, here's all your screws, nuts, bolts, and uh, wrenches and stuff like that. Looks like a little name tag thing too as well. A little, and a little brush. Let's see. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put on a time lapse. I'm going to go over all the pieces, well, how to put everything together. We're going to be watching a video at the same time, make sure we're doing this correctly. Uh, and then we're going to start, hopefully, this afternoon, actually be able to shoot something. So, we'll see. They
actually finished the construction of the laser setup and now we're going to go ahead and install the program and the next video hopefully should be where we're actually utilizing the laser to do some test shots and see if we have something that works all right stay tuned well folks the this is the first shot i'm doing with the laser <laughs> uh, I actually have this box right here because Daniel's in the other part of the room. I don't want him to uh, blind himself, but it's pretty cool. What I'm making right now is that right there. And we're at 16% complete. I'm using light burn. It's been going for three minutes, 25 seconds. So it's working out. That's on some black walnut. So we'll see. All right, folks. We've had this for a few days now. This is the actual light burn software. As you can see, I'm putting this Minecraft image on here for my son. It's nearly finished. It's been going for 40 minutes and 17 seconds, and it's about done. So we're expecting this thing to end up any second or 97%. When you go to the preview button right here, you can preview that. It'll kind of give you, well, it's gonna give you the image and what it's gonna look like and where it's gonna do the burning with an estimated time. Now the time's pretty close. It was predicting about 40 minutes long, and it just finished, so it finished at 40 minutes and 31 seconds, so not too far off. So let's go ahead and look over here. Yep, it looks nice and clean and, and very crisp, even though I was at 100% power, excuse me, 100% speed and 55% power, it did really well. Uh, very impressed with this program. Now things you can do, which I think is pretty cool, so you have this button right here. This is essentially like a geotag you'd see on uh, a map. So you click on that right there, and then you can click on a certain part. So I'm gonna click right here, and I'm gonna go over here, and it takes a laser to that section on the image. So pretty interesting. So if I go down here again, it's a great way to map out your area so you know what your limits are. So if I'm out here just slightly outside that square right there, oops. Let me click on it again. So I don't have a scare. Ah, square, excuse me. It will correspond to the exact same lo location with the laser. That's a great way to find out. Now, there's another button right here called frame. This is also another great way to set up your work area. So I'm going to, so this is the button I'm going to press. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera over to here. So I'm going to hit frame. So what it does is it will frame out the area that you're working. So again, a great way to see if you're going to be hitting your target. So I think functions like that are pretty neat. I haven't really watched any videos on how to use this. Everything I'm doing right now is I'm importing right here. So if you go to this import button right here, you can import a whole lot of different images and stuff like that. So if I want to do this import right here, so let me get rid of this one real quick. I can make that image right there. And then now it's on an S, VG, maybe it is. Yeah, it's a scalable one. Anyways, I can make a crazy looking angry tire, uh, tiger, excuse me, come on there. So interesting. I'm very excited with this this uh, program and with this Ortor laser. It's been great. I've done probably about six burns so far, and I've had one little screw up, but you know nothing major. Um, just me learning how to use the actual program. Oh, another cool thing is, so you got the home button right here. I'm going to go ahead and press home. And that's, it'll go back to the home thing. It does two little clicks up against the limit switch down here that we installed. But pretty neat. So stay tuned. I'll do more videos with this system and kind of things that are going on. So we'll see you around. Thanks. And if you like, please subscribe. And we'll see you around.